Hi there, in this video series, I'm gonna show you how to use all of Elementor's free widget elements. It's the number one page builder for WordPress in the world, and you can get it by going to dualfox.com forward slash Elementor. There you'll be able to download the free Elementor plugin. It's gonna let you build a beautiful WordPress website, and I'm gonna show you exactly how. So please do like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and now without any further ado, let's get straight to it and dive on in. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a really cool widget within Elementor, which is the tabs widget. And it's gonna let us do something like this. So we can have a really nice image in the background. And then we've got these different tabs. And as you click through on them, uh, basically the content that you've got will change in each tab. So this could come in useful for a huge range of things. I'm gonna show you how to build it so it looks like this. Uh, in this video. So first of all, let's delete this and we'll start from scratch. So the first thing we want to do is create a single section uh, with one column in it. Then come on up to our widget toolbar, search for tabs and click and drag on into the section that we've just made. So by default, it gives you two, but we can obviously add some more down here. So I want four. So I'm going to go straight ahead and click on add item. And that's going to give us our four tabs uh, just here. Now these are uh, aligned horizontally. If you want them to be vertical, you can do that. It's just down here under type, switch it to vertical, and they will then appear like this. Uh, we can also change the distance here. So once you've added your content, if you don't like the fact you've got this big space here, come on over to style, and then you've got the navigation width, and then you can just alter that there and get it to where you want it to be. For now though, I'm going to leave it as it was because I want to keep it as horizontal. So the first thing we've got to do is actually add in our text. So come on up to the first tab and put in your title. In this case, for me, it's spring. And then I'm going to get rid of this text and copy and paste in my text. Then collapse that one down, come to the second one, make this summer. Do the same thing, get rid of this text. And I'll do this for all four and just paste it in quickly. So there we go, I've now got my four tabs here. We've got our separate titles and you can see that as I'm changing it, it's changing the content that we actually have inside. And now what we can do is style this up so that it uh, starts to look better. Obviously that's under the style tab just up here. So come on up, you can increase the border width. So this is the line that we have going around here. So if I drag this up, you'll see that's increasing. I'm gonna leave it back where it was though. If you want to, you can change the color so we can make it blue, green, click and drag to select the color you want or input a color code if you've got one. And then you've also got a background color. So if we put this in, you see that it changes the, uh, the background of the one we have selected. So if I now go over to summer, it's gonna select that one instead. I prefer doing this a different way though. So what I wanna do is come on over to our section and then under the section settings, go to style and under background, I want a classic background and I want an image. So I've got a picture of Cortina d'Ampazzo, which uh, if you've ever been skiing there, you will know is absolutely beautiful. Now, if you do ski at all and you haven't been, I highly recommend it. It's an absolutely wonderful place. So input your picture, come back to layout, and then I just need to adjust the height here so that we can see it. So I'm gonna change this to 600 pixels. And then what we want to do is come back to our widget toolbar. I'm going to click and drag in a heading. Make this visit Cortina. Center that up. Go over to style, come down to typography. Change the font. And let's make this bigger. And I'm also going to change the text color over to white. And last thing is coming over uh, back to the toolbar widgets grabbing a spacer, dragging it in, and giving us a bit more space here. So now that I've done that, we obviously can't see our tabs very well. So what you can do is come on back over to the actual tabs widget, go to the advanced tab, and then come down to background. Under background, we can choose either a classic or a gradient. I'm just gonna go for a solid white color, or I might just drop the opacity down a little bit so we've still got, it's slightly see-through, I think I, Quite like the look of that. And then for the last touch, I'm gonna to come back up to our section, go to style, close down background and come to background overlay. And I put a gradient over it. So I think I did a sort of a lightish blue, brought the opacity down a little bit. And then I went for a sort of orangey 
red color and then what I did was drop the opacity on the whole thing down a little bit and that just helps to make the title pop out a bit more. So if we take a look at that now, in fact let's preview it, update, preview changes. And there we go, we've got a beautiful background image, we've got our title, some nice space which you can obviously alter, and then we've got our tabs. So this is so versatile, you can obviously use this for so many different things, this was just off the top of my head, but you can then put in different information under each of these tabs, show off whatever it is you're wanting to on your website. And this also looks really good on mobile straight from the get-go, so if we come down here, responsive mode, come to tablet, we see it fits straight away, and if we switch over to mobile, it automatically stacks itself nicely and then what you'd obviously do is just click on each one on the mobile and then it opens up for you. So that looks brilliant. Let's head back over to the desktop view. Uh, the final thing you could also do if you wanted to under any of these tabs under the content section, if we went into one of them, you can alter the text individually down here. So if we wanted to uh, bold anything, we can do that. Change the colors as well just here. So if you're wanting to, to do that individually for each tab, you can do. Uh, and then the other thing we could also do is add in some media. So if I drop that down, come up to add media, if I put in a picture of myself, that's going to insert it into the tab. And then what you can do is change the size around, get rid of the spacing, obviously play around with it so that you get your text alongside it. So if you want to do that, you can. I think it's a fantastic way of adding in different content. And uh, the other thing you can do, if you wanted to just change colors as a whole, Again, under the style section, you've got your title and also the content. So we could go in, change our title colors, come down to content, change our content color. And then obviously for each, you can go into typography, start changing the sizes around, bold them up, underline them, capitalize them, change the font family, whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Uh, and don't forget, once you've done all of that, you can also change the border color as well. So our line here, if we go in there, let's make this a orangey color to go with the background that I've done. And that is it. Really nice, simple one there. As always, if you've got any questions, please post them in the comments, like the video, consider to subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.